give you some idea, right? Uh, you know, for your next meal, how to do it with, uh, with more health benefits, right? And you can still eat freely and stay slim always, right? So, this is the mega um, Wafu Hamburg uh, rice set, okay? So, that's beef, right? So, I have uh, chosen the style of the sauce uh, on the, the, the meat, right? It's actually a Wafu Waffle sauce, right? At the Dong Dong Donkey at the Suntec City. So let me flip it over the camera for you to see, okay? So here we are. Yep, there's a background. So I'm doing a live stream here using my self, uh, real can food and self care channel, right? Okay, so here I am. Let me show you, okay? This is the, yes, this is the one. So you can see all this, uh, this, uh, this is cane pepper. This is, I, I brought my own, always get, I kept it in the bag. Right, if you have been following me, I've been talking a lot, and uh, I encourage you to try and uh, you know take more, consume more cane pepper. Right, it's very affordable. Right, so I bought a big bottle, so I you know for convenience, I you know I buy a small bottle, glass bottle like this. Right, and uh, I put that cane pepper, and so that I can put that in my rice, and my meat, and my vegetable, and my soup as well and at the same time i also bring along this uh, turmeric right to sprinkle on my rice my meat my vegetable and also in my soup if i want to then the, okay i also uh, bought this uh, this is a uh, um, very good for anti-aging because um, it has this vitamin right called vitamin K2. It's good for anti-aging, right? It's a uh, natto beans. So later I'm gonna open up and and show you. Like try to put that in your, you know, uh have that in your diet. That means uh, your meals, I right? try to eat that very often. Of course, if you like you don't mind the stickiness because it's fermented beans uh, uh, from Japan. Right for that vitamin K two because uh, not many people can accept the gooey you know sticky thing, right? Okay, right. So all that right is for uh this layout right is for my Instagram story right. Oh, yes. Okay, <laughs> so let me take a snapshot here. Yeah? Let me take a snapshot of this so that I can post on my Instagram. I'm also a digital marketer, so things like that you know helps me in my digital marketing journey to promote about my products and my services right okay so let's flip back the camera right uh, as i was trying to tell you to share with you right i'm also uh this uh, kind of it had been a uh, um in a weight management you know as a um i would say maybe more like a coach right for a while already uh, quite a few years from now, right? Um, so I'm, I, you know, get myself, you know, to be professional about, especially about fat metabolism, right? So now in the context about fat metabolism and stuff like that, right? So this is why the title of my, of my live stream today is uh, "Eat eh, uh, Fat Metabolism," right? Uh, uh, yeah, right, right. So that you can eat freely. I'm already uh, age 51 this year. So as I introduced to you just now, right? Uh, so I'm um, this cane pepper, the how benefits from the cane pepper is such that um, it's good for blood thinning. So it will make your blood, you know, uh, more active and flow better. So at, at my age, right, 51, right? Um, I'm also, you know, despite that I have uh, um, more self awareness about things like uh, about weight management and how to stay healthy, take good supplements. I, I don't exactly take really healthy food. I I I'm I I am not into that part. So um, but however, I do try to find opportunities out of my busy. Uh, business schedule right to include that you know so by the way you know um, uh, the convenience so this is why i will keep that in my bag i'll carry them everywhere i go right and put them in i just showed you in my you know, on my rice 
so it's a little bit spicy it's a little bit spicy it's very good for blood thinning and the beautiful part about cane pepper is that uh, not only it helps to thin your blood naturally okay and it also helps you to like internally if let if let's say there is some internal bleeding that is undetected right uh, okay it's undetected the cane pepper the ingredient the active ingredient of cane pepper will help your body right to actually um uh kind of like stop the bleeding well how it's done well uh, you can go and find out i just give gave you the the idea about the cane pepper and it's really a very affordable like for example in a supermarket over here in singapore right you can easily get it at uh, this this bottle uh something something of this size right which will last you quite a few months right it only costs you less than four dollars 385 uh i'm i'm not promoting this this okay yeah i'm not promoting this uh for profit for profit no i'm just simply through my experience right uh that i learned from a australian doctor right she's also very active on the tiktok you can, you can go and you know you can go and find out uh, and go and follow her channel too right she there's one fine day i i, I scroll uh, on the tiktok and i found her video and thereafter you know i've been trying to i'm learning from her from her information that she shared on the tiktok video and one of it that she actively encourage everyone is to have a cane pepper first thing the blood right make the blood more active is very important so especially for my age of 51 right uh, i'm also you know uh, afraid of uh, i wouldn't say afraid uh, it's just but i'm mindful that uh, having stroke right it's not the it's not a joke you know it's not a joke so i would do what within my means right to take care of myself Take care of my blood vessels so cane pepper is quite a good option right affordable and the benefits is uh, uh, really amazing the other one is the turmeric right turmeric is like you you know you, you when you take curry right you this is one of the active ingredient in the curry and the turmeric is what is good for is a high in anti-inflammatory inflammatory ingredient so that means it's anti-inflammation so as a leading person right there's no avoidance of uh, having inflammation in the body so uh so if you can include uh, in your meals things that is uh, high in anti-inflammatory ingredient right it helps you to counter that inflammation that you would it's unavoidable it will happen so if you if you leave it as it is right as you accumulate right it will snowball and develop into serious chronic diseases so it's good to eat uh, more of this kind of like turmeric um, um, spice inside your diet and it doesn't alter the the flavor the main flavor of your dish so try to, to take more turmeric right and include that in your diet right so but nonetheless don't forget to follow me and uh, this is one of my channel that uh, um, um, I used to talk about how, especially about um, you know weight management, and, and uh, of course at times uh, I mean uh, that if you are interested, I'm affiliated to certain product brands that for um, for fat metabolism especially, right? Okay, so I may I may mention to you. So nonetheless, um, if you can learn something from my you know quite a number of years now in terms of the weight management part right and uh, then I think I have done my part and this is also uh, inspired to do ad hoc ad hoc by the way live streaming to share with you all these uh, things that I you know use my body to experiment right and and I also support uh, intermittent fasting or intermittent fasting I, I do it almost every day right at least 12 hours so this meal um i started uh stop eating right and since 11 p.m last night so up, up to now it's already i i suppose now it's 5 30 right maybe it's already 18 hours with no food in the system just 
uh, water. So it's different from the fasting with uh, our Muslim friends. Right? Ramadan is different because they cannot drink water. But intermittent fasting, you can drink anything that is organic, which is water or maybe um, uh, black coffee because the uh, or maybe some green tea, uh, you know, green tea you know, uh, or things that is cold or hot, doesn't matter. Most important is uh, it's, uh, organic, there's no added sugar, no other added ingredient is the natural form of the of the of that drink right it's all right to include in your intermittent fasting right okay so um now the thing about um, let's talk about the benefits of the intermittent fasting right? intermittent fasting is such that uh, well you have to by the way you must be open to experiment your body okay um no one size fits all kind of intermittent fasting for everybody you have to listen to your body as you go along with it and then do be mindful that if you have a history of gastric problems right so you have to take it you know uh slowly gradually don't rush and do it well i i can do fasting for a long period of time even right from the beginning, right from the start, right, I jump straight to even 12 hours without food. So I do not have any gastric problems. Okay? But if you have the history of such kind of problems like you know acid reflux and whatever, do go and study about it. You know, especially there's no lack of information online, credible ones to learn about that one, right? And if you want those credible sources like from doctors or scientists that talk touch on the subject about intermittent fasting or keto ketosis right kind of lifestyle ketogenic diet or that kind of lifestyle right by all means you can always follow me so that you can you know um, you can drop me a, a, a pm a, a private message to ask about uh, all these uh, credible sources uh, that i personally learning from them Right, and uh, I, I can refer the, the all those educational videos or material for you to, to you know so that you can go and subscribe to the channel and 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 have all this edu educational information for free, complimentary, okay? Uh, complimentary, okay? So, intermittent fasting in such a way, the benefits, right, is that it is free, right? Um, number two is part of your lifestyle, right. It, you do not need to, uh, you know, just like you, you need to exercise or you need to go to the gym to work out, right? You need to set aside time for it. Intermit intermittent fasting, it, it doesn't require you to do that. And sleeping, during the sleeping time, is part of your fasting, you know, regime. It's part of it, okay? So, that means uh, there is convenience, right? Okay, so there is time savings involved. So, it's, it's free. So you will save on the cost. There's no cost involved for doing intermittent fasting. Number two is that um, there is a, a what do you call it? Ah, cost savings, right? You don't need to spend any money during intermittent fasting. In fact, it help you save money. You don't need to buy any food, right? Isn't it wonderful, right? Um, then what else? Uh, there is no hard work involved. <laughs> you know, it, it's like exercise, right? A lot of us uh, is uh, can can be lazy, you know. Can be lazy. I uh, I I can be too, you know. Um, but ever since I I go into all that, this intermittent fasting is one of them, and also taking um high quality, safe and effective um health health products. Right? so I don't really I I I, I in fact I cancel my gym subscription for years already, maybe even eight or ten years. Yeah, you know, but my my tummy is still flat. Uh, walking is my if you want to consider walking as exercises uh, then walking is my exercise and i don't do brisk walking and i don't go and intentionally walk no i just make it a point that walk from point a to point b so instead of uh, i take a train i take a bus or i take a, a, a cab right i walk so walking is uh, is my way of activity right so, um, so I've, I've mentioned three benefits for intermittent fasting. Okay, so let's talk about the ketosis part. Ketosis is like the, you know, the general understanding uh, from a lot of people, from the layman, right? Is that uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a kind of a, a diet choice that you eat le a lot less uh, 
the the carbohydrates, simple carbohydrates especially, which is the all this rice, all the flour stuff, you know, flour, um, bread, and you know, the, it, it, it cut back a lot on that. You 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 are still eating in a ketosis uh, lifestyle, ketogenic diet lifestyle, okay, and you include more, you increase your intake of good quality fats, okay. Good quality fats, including maybe things like uh, grass fed butter, you know, um, extra virgin oil, coconut oil, you say, or is a high fat food, right? Uh, maybe nuts, you know, uh, those nuts that is just organically baked, you know, there's no added salt or sugar, you know, like walnut, almonds, you know, cashew nuts, you name it, okay, you have it. Right, and also uh, like meats that contain fats rather than lean meat, right? Okay, perhaps uh, if the pork lard, pork lard, right, if it's done with uh, good quality oil instead of the, 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 the cheapo canola oil, which is the palm oil or vegetable oil, right? If it's not done that way, right, if it's done with good quality oil. Um, if it's deep fried in good quality oil, the pork lard, right? Yeah, I, it's all right to include because it's a natural, it's a natural form of the pork fats. It's all right to include in a ketogenic uh, meal, meal choices, food choices. Okay, so it's all right to do that because it's a. Uh, it's just like I suggested just now the grass fed butter, right? Why, why, why grass fed butter? Because butter is the natural form. It's actually good for us, right? So don't be afraid to eat fats. You know? Uh, I I just had a conversation with a friend yesterday, a, a lady friend, and she's afraid to like you know eat this uh, fatty meats, uh, you know, uh, and also uh, very skeptical about food that is a little bit more oily, right? So you, you see, it's always to be good to be specific in, in whatever you want to do to achieve the result. So fats doesn't you need fats, you know. By the way, my friends. You need fats, by the way. You, you cannot be going around eating a lot of lean stuff and there's no good quality uh, fats that you are eaten into your system. No, your body needs that balance of that, that part too. You know? So don't be afraid to. The, the, the key point is to, to educate yourself. Self-education is to understand from a science point of view, scientific, yong hen ke xue de jiao du qu liao jie, zi fang, hao de zi fang, good fats. 好的脂肪是对你的是有帮助的 okay? And I, this is why I, I, I always mention uh, to some of my clients uh, is that eat good fats to burn more fats uh. I eat a lot of fats My tummy is still flat I don't have a belly because I eat a lot of fats No, you see, because why? Ever since I have a chance to learn properly you know, the secret behind a flat tummy using a very scientific uh, approach right so you know I, I I don't do any gym at all so how could I be uh, upkeeping a flat tummy and I eat so much right and uh, a lot of them are fatty food right so in the in those days where I was a, a gym freak right I love to work out a lot and I work out long hours in the gym right I struggle to <laughs> to keep a flat tummy because you know, if you eat a lot of food, right, and if you eat too frequently, as you see, that's a problem. It causes a uh, insulin resistance. Ah, you see, insulin resistance. So when you when you start to explore the subject about intermittent fasting, ketosis, uh, ketogenic lifestyle, right, uh, you will you definitely will come across uh, the subject about insulin and insulin resistance. So this is uh this is why we do intermittent fasting, right? To clear our body, right? To make our body more sensitive, to restore the sensitivity of our body to burn fat again. So what's causing this uh, fundamentally, uh, uh, to keep it long story short, uh, is that our body um with the urban lifestyle, right? So we can eat any kind we want, right? So without being hungry, we also eat, right? So it causes too frequently to eat. So our body keep on having the insulin pump into the into the bloodstream. So with that, uh, as this accumulates, right, our body start to get insensitive, too much insulin, and insulin is a hormone. 
that is a, like a determination of whether you burn fat or you store fat. So you see, so when you do intermittent fasting, the idea is to clear your body, you know, very frequently of the excess insulin in the system, in your bloodstream, right? So it also make train your body up to look for fats for energy rather than to look for blood sugar for energy. That means the like uh, the the energy coming from the digestion of the carbohydrates. So um, in, in fact, uh, a, a normal person, I'm not talking about healthy yet, but just a normal person, we have uh, unlimited amount of uh, energy that without any consuming any food, right? You get there is a lot of energy for your body. Why? Where is it from? It's from your fats. It's from your fats. Your body can be, you know, can learn how to look for that energy source. And usually that energy source is a more stable energy source rather than depending on the blood sugar. Uh, you know, uh, in a way, you know, in a very simple way to explain to you. So it's not a stable energy source, but energy source from uh, from fat right, is pretty stable. So it also, in a way, you know, what do you observe from the outside? Right? How you feel when you are burning more fats rather than uh, burning the, using, uh, I mean, the blood sugar to convert the energy, right? Is that you are a person more alert, you know, you are more energetic when your body is being conditioned to, we, we, we call it what, the doctors call it fat adaptive. Uh, fat adaptive. That means you adapt your body adapt to burning fat. It's a fat adaptive uh, way of getting the energy. So it's a more stable. You are more alert. You are not tired, fatigued easily. If you if you if your body depend on on uh, blood sugar right to, to to convert it to energy for you, uh, it's an unstable energy source. So you. Know, you experience more tiredness huh? compared to a body part that is uh, actually fat adaptive, right? So this is uh, what how I learned through the years like after I happened to come across intermittent fasting, right? However, the thing is that um, don't don't be skeptical also about taking health supplements, right? Because there's no way, uh, in, especially if you are living in the city, an uh, urban lifestyle, that you depend, you, you, no matter how healthy you are, you, uh, so-called, no, uh, I correct myself, no matter how how much nutritious food you are eating, you try to make an effort, you cook and everything, you know, you measure everything, you try to cook. Don't fool yourself that the amount that plate of food is enough of nutrients uh, to service your body for restoration and to repair your body there's no such thing don't fool yourself to so called eat healthy you don't when you when you want to just base on nutrition and food alone uh, without any health supplements uh, do you know how much food you must consume do you know just to make sure you have that the necessary critical minerals vitamins and everything uh, to sustain you, you know. We haven't go into the part where you because you are active, you need to exercise, you haven't go in, we're just normal person, three meals and stuff, right? You know how much food you have to eat. So based on the current city people, you're too busy to spend your time eating away. And if you are eating so often, right? Because you can't consume so much at one go, right? So you'll be eating pretty often just to get the nutrient. Right? You already defeat the purpose we just said earlier. It will cause your body to be insulin resistant because you keep on having food inside the body. So insulin has to, the hormone from your pancreas will keep coming out, right? So again, it is a random problem. So you see, our creator uh, don't create uh, us uh, in such a way that you, you need to do that. No, no. What happened? It's because the, the quality of the food, right, has gone down very badly. That means the same amount of vegetable, probably 50 years ago, you eat one portion, let's say one bowl, you can be healthy already. But now you cannot. If you, 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 you don't believe me, you go and ask your family doctor. 
how many portion of uh, 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 this uh, vegetable and you must eat a variety of it. How you go and ask your doctor how many portion of the vegetable you must eat before you you are you so called you have sufficient nutrients. Eh? You know it has increased to eh, about say seven to nine portion you know, a day, eh, my friend. Can you guarantee this? Come on, don't let's not fool ourselves. You, you can't. Right? Used to be two or three portion about this size. Used to be. That was what, how many years ago? Decades ago, my friend. Are your information outdated? You are still staying at two or three. Who, who told you that? No. Because the nutrients inside each portion right now, because of the soil pollution, air pollution, everything, the vegetable that was grown out that way, the nutrients is very poor quality. Very poor quality. So that means that uh, your body don't have enough nutrients. So how how can you conveniently help yourself to stay healthy? There's no other way, one. If you don't take health supplements, no other way, one. because it's a concentrated extract, right? So you just put, pop it into your mouth, done, right? As I'm talking about those uh, that is uh, there's a lot of clinical studies, high quality, proven already with a proper report to show you that they are safe and effective. Right, then you, you, you choose those. I'm not talking about those. I'm not talking about anyone that you just simply walk into a, a, a pharmaceutical store and then you just buy off the shelf without any knowing the, the facts, right? I'm not talking about those, uh, those, those, those kind of product. No, I'm talking about if you have done your homework, you go and understand that okay, this health supplement, right? Yeah, they got clinical study, they have shown the data. And it's verified by third party say that okay it has it has that kind of promise minerals nutrients inside so you take they help you to supplement your daily lifestyle to stay you know uh, to be in a good body condition right uh, i'm talking about those kind of brands and products i'm not talking about just simply anybody just uh whack something on online and tell you this is good uh, so where are the where are the proof is good right where are the proof so you know through years of uh, being an affiliate uh, in, in such kind of uh, industry right i realized that consumers are very ignorant very ignorant they just buy because of hearsay only. so this you know yeah they, they is uh, they, they, <laughs> they are just buy on hearsay only. yeah so they are not not really true to the fact that they want to get good quality products. No, not at all. They just buy out of convenience. Mm. What? Mm. So, at the same time, I want to um, also encourage you to uh, consume more vitamin K2. This is not beans, by the way. Mm. And so you can get this very cheap in the supermarket, the Japanese style of supermarket. Okay, this is the mustard, this is the soya sauce, and come in a convenient pack three of them. Um, but again, I'm not selling this, I don't make any from giving you these tips, I don't make any money from it. I just simply want to. Use my experience to help you. Hmm? Hmm. See this? That's not be. You know, three three box in one packet. Um, you can eat. You know, once yeah, one box. Yeah, for one meal. Yeah, put that mix that with your rice, and you see, it's a fermented beans. Is you see, it's sticky. Yeah. you see, it's sticky. If you don't mind, yeah. it's very healthy. What does it have? Important thing is that what I like about this, uh, although it has a, some kind of, uh, to some people it's a weird taste, uh, <laughs> but I love it. It's uh, because they've got a very potent amount of vitamin K2. You know one of the nutrients you must have uh, to stay young, to look young, is to have a large amount of vitamin K2 and your body cannot manufacture vitamin k2 it must be from food and one of the fantastic sauce and eh, which is very affordable is cheap uh, by the way three boxes like this only about three dollars 
okay it comes actually uh, slightly frozen okay so for flavor wise uh, try to put the mustard well and the soy sauce it will taste very good but if you if you are like me i'm very seasoned consumer of a natto beans right is it and you put that on your rice like this i'm having japanese food today so it goes very well but if you if you understand uh, the health benefits that i mentioned just now right then it's okay to go with any any and you can even have noodles you know it's very common Dish, dish over here in Singapore, you can include that in your noodles, right? Because you see, when you talk about eating, right, it's not just any food that you should send into your mouth, right? You also need to be concerned about the nutrients you are getting. So you cannot be you eat junk and then you expect to leave no problem with your body, not broken, not damaged for years to come. Come on, let's not fool ourselves. Where do they, your body get the ingredient to to repair the damage? I remember I told you about that. If a normal living person, right, you you will have inflammation, right? So how can your body repair if you never get fit? All this, all this, all this good stuff, right? Huh? Hmm. Okay. Mm. So, for anti-aging purposes, right, try to eat more uh, food that contains a large amount of vitamin K2, right, vitamin K2, and one of the very affordable and easily found food source is the Japanese food uh, natto beans is a is a very good choice good choices mm. however however if you can't handle that the this kind of fermented beans because of the that plasticiness, just like the lady's finger, right? If you can't, there are health supplements you can buy, okay? That actually has that. Mm. You can buy it. Yeah, take the health supplement there. Mm. This is one of the ways. I'm very into anti-aging for me, my lifestyle. Okay? And the thing is that, you know, you see, uh, why do you want to, you know, uh, have a successful weight management, right? Why, 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 why do you want to spend time, spend money on that? You see, it's not just about looking good. You know? It's also about you able to have a higher energy level so that you can perform well in whatever you want to do, right? For example, your work. If, if your body system is handicapped in a way that because of too much uh, body weight, too much fats and you know, stuff like that, right? So everywhere is like all stuck. How can you perform well? You don't have the energy to perform well, right? Now. Then you're easily tired. So you haven't ever thought about that. It affects your ability to make money, right? Right now, right, it affects your, uh, your quality of your lifestyle, and especially when you want to spend time with your children. Right, they are running around, you cannot keep up. Then, me is meaningless, isn't it? Meaningless, right? I, I saw that a long time ago. It's meaningless, right? You make all that money, but you don't have the energy, you don't have the energy to enjoy it in your lifestyle. Then, have we forgotten about that? 
So it's not the weight management or the fat metabolism that you're concerned. That is just a, that is just a, like a tool for you to have a high quality energetic lifestyle. And you can do whatever you want. Right? Of course the bonus is that you got six pack, you got big muscle, you know, if you're a lady, you know, you, you got a flat tummy, you're very sexy, you wear clothes. But what's the main thing or what? Your ability to perform well in work, especially in, in the department that is saying that you make money, isn't it? So if you're always tired and then you don't feel good, you also hurt your self-confidence, you look in the mirror, you don't feel good. You always need to buy all the big sizes clothes, right? You don't feel good, right? right? How can you be feeling happy? I don't believe that. I don't believe that, right or not? I don't believe that, right? So when you actually make an effort to self education, yeah, like now you know, if you're watching my live stream or oh yeah, and you're following me on my channel, right? So you can learn all this on your own and you can start practicing that in your lifestyle. Intermittent fasting is free, my friend, right? Free. You don't need to spend money to do intermittent fasting, right now. Right? Then, as you are doing this, you can set aside a small amount of money to get high quality supplements. And then, so that you have, you know, you cover all angles already. Right? So, you, you cannot say you don't have the time and the money to do that. Come on. You are the most expensive. You're not your, not your LV bag, not your Hermes bag. Not your Gucci bag, not your Lamborghini car. Oh no, you're the most expensive, you know, my friend. Because there's no spare parts, you know. Uh, there's no spare parts, you know. Alright? There's no spare parts, my friend. Once it's broken, even you find you manage to find a replacement, uh, you have to answer the next question is what? Uh, is it compatible or not? Not compatible, you're back to square one, you know. Because you have to continue looking for the spare parts, you know. You see? So that's why you, we are very expensive. Right. Okay. So it cannot be you can afford to pay for a Gucci bag or a Lamborghini car, you know, but you are you are overweight. Come on. Where's the where's the where's the logic? Where's the logic for that? Huh? Where's the logic for that? You focus on the external goodness rather than the internal goodness which is more long term right so my engineering mind uh, logic thinking mind uh, hey, doesn't make sense to me why not doesn't make sense to me right the, the priority must be that uh, i'm the most expensive so i would you know what with whatever i i can i can afford right I must take care of this thing first. This thing. This this thing first. Right? Make sense? Yeah. Right. So anyways, if you are you know happen to scroll and you stumble onto my live stream now, I'm you know I'm a big fan of to to help you in um in things that is uh, you know to upkeep you to be more energetic and be younger as you as you age, yeah. Hmm. So I brought with me two packets of this. Right? I can't wait to load my phone up with all these vitamin vitamin K2. This is natto beans. If you're watching natto beans, this is a power pack with uh, anti-aging 
active ingredient called vitamin K2. Right? See? The stickiness. Right? Put that with, with your rice. That's how the Japanese, you know, eat. Mm. Hey, ever ever notice something about the Japanese? Uh, I don't think you can find any uh, a, a lot of overweight people walking around on the streets, right? The Japanese people. Oh yeah, everybody can say whatever they want about say, oh they are high stress or you know, whatever it is, uh. But you know, hey, come on, learn the right things, uh, guys. Learn the right things. Right. Now. At, at least they, they have a recipe uh, to stay slim, right? Correct. Right? Yeah. Hmm. So they took they took a lot of uh, this kind of food. Hmm. Natto beans is actually fermented soy soy I think. soy soy beans. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Hmm. So it's very good to for anti aging. So you can get it. There are a few, you know, prices over here at the Dong Dong Donkey supermarket. But I bought the the cheapest of the lot, three boxes for two ninety only. So it's up to you. You can choose the higher price ones, three dollar plus, four dollar plus. They they do offer that. Okay, but I always keep buy. You know, I stock it up in my fridge. Mm. So when I if sometimes I, I cook noodles, you know, uh, back at my apartment, right? I I will try to add this. Mm. Mm. So anyway, if you have any questions about um, intermittent fasting, right? how to do it properly and in a safe manner, well, you can always, uh, don't forget to follow me, and you can drop a DM, right? I will try to answer your question to my best ability. practice intermittent fasting almost every day mm. and I've been doing it I think rough estimate is probably uh, since the COVID day so four years already mm. four years already so it's really very to help me keep a flat tummy without going to the gym. You know, talking about this, right? I remember those days uh, when I was younger, before 40 years old, I'm 51 years old this year. Because, you know, if you come a lot in the gym, right? You, eat, you also need to eat a lot of food. Especially the protein, so that you can grow your muscles, right? However, at the same time, I struggle to to maintain my six pack abs. You see, so and now I realize that because there are certain misinformation in that process, which uh, probably even the personal trainer don't know, doctors don't know. Yeah. So now with deeper understanding about you know through really a scientific way about understanding uh, insulin resistance, right? Just that one alone. Then I change the my lifestyle approach. I don't work out, but yet I eat freely. Right? I don't stay away from any particular type of food. No, I don't. I accept the frequency of the eating of the food. Right? I have made some adjustment. Right? So 
I always my tummy is always flat. The amount of food I consume, uh, but without the gym workout, uh, like you know, ten years ago, right, I would be fat if I didn't do <laughs> intermittent fasting. Uh, I I believe so. No. But yet, every morning I woke up, my tummy is flat. I can still see my abs. Mm. So try it, try it out the intermittent fasting. <clears throat> Another tips I can give you, like uh, my celebrity friend uh, from Taiwan, always will uh, you know uh, talk about this in her in her videos and live streaming, is to add this without caffeine tea green uh green tea, okay, which is a product that is uh, I'm a fan of, okay. You put that 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 thing is called catechins. You put that into like you know coffee. Your tea, you know, instead of uh, put sugar, you put that one. So it's support your fat metabolism. It's called catechins. Or er cha su, no? Er cha su. Yeah. Let me show. Let me show you. Yeah, this this thing here. So high quality, effective. Green tea is not green in color. It's pink in color. See? Pink in color. So you pop that into because of there's no caffeine. It's not like the typical green tea. You can only drink maybe maximum three to four cups a day, right? Because they contain caffeine. But this one, no caffeine, you can drink all day. You can put it inside your water bottle and keep on refilling it up and then any any time you can just pop even four or five uh caps inside uh, uh, to support your fat metabolism uh, um, goals if, if you are you know if you, you if you are okay with that okay yeah now the also another thing about caffeine right actually caffeine uh, it is good for you with moderation Caffeine it actually supports the body for fat metabolism. However, you cannot drink so much of, of caffeine. You cannot take so much of caffeine because it has side effects. Yeah. So, see? Very good for caffeine. This is a Americano. Mm, right? You cannot drink all day the caffeine. Although it's help you support your fat metabolism. So then how how can you help yourself? Right? You so you have to be creative about it. About about this, right? This is why I strongly recommend something like that. No caffeine free green tea extract called Kettle Cheese. Right? Can support your fat metabolism all day long so let's say you have a, a heavy meal or you find that your food is a you know very oily or something you can you can pop 
more into your water you know and you know and you can drink that all day without the side effect I have put up quite a number of videos about this by my Taiwanese celebrity friend on my channel, right? So you can check it out over at my feed, right? It's a Taiwanese uh, Chinese, yeah, they, uh, TV actress, yeah. Also a personal friend. She talks a lot about this. Mm, okay. Hmm. This Dong Dong Donkey eating place right, seems like quite a good spot to do make videos, make content, and also live live streaming. Because uh, from five o'clock onwards, just now until now, it's pretty quiet over here. So content creators out there, if you like, uh, you know that kind of outdoor um venue to make your content right. So, this could be a, a, a good consideration. Wow, today is a, a mega plate. Hamburg. Hamburg. Wafu Hamburg. Rice set. <clears throat> oh, thank you for the follow. Follow. If you have any questions, right about fat metabolism, right? Yes, I'm. I can help you. Right, to get a deeper understanding. Thank you for the follow, my man.
Oh, by the way, <coughs> for the content creators, uh, at the same time, they are concerned about fat metabolism. Uh, and you're also trying to sell products that is related to weight management. Uh, <coughs> I've uh, you know, started trying to do live streaming. Not exactly to very focus about uh, selling products. Uh. And I noticed that it's... Um, I'm, I'm still trying to learn, right? I noticed that you, easily you get violation, you know. <laughs> um, is it because of the subject about fat loss is a very is a taboo on such a platform? Yeah. I heard from another live streamer. He is also a, a bodybuilder, right? He also mentioned something like that. You know, you know, now my channel also being flagged by TikTok because of some violation about the the subject that I'm talking about about weight management. So I'm still learning, I'm not sure. Because it's they are not specific to mention what exactly was the violation from the TikTok live stream. Okay? So let's see. Hmm. I'm done with my my food. So don't forget to hit the follow button so that in case you have anything that uh, you want to ask me uh, you know, in the future about uh, weight management, fat metabolism, intermittent fasting, ketogenic uh, lifestyle, right? Right. Mm. Then Right, don't forget the follow me, right? Uh, only then that you, you can still find me, right? Mm. But nonetheless, thank you for stopping by, right? So I've on my live stream for at least 45 minutes already. So I, 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 my intention is to warm up my algorithm, my TikTok algorithm for live streaming for this account. Right? So that uh, TikTok algorithm can learn the to to help my channel to look for the the targeted kind of audience for my uh, my channel, which will be uh, focusing on um, self care, right? That means wellness. You can call it um, we are specifically you know about weight management. Mm. So, before I sign off, I am already age 51 and then I enjoy my food freely, I eat freely, I do not restrict and I need to eat healthy food, I don't believe in that, no, that's not me, if you are, uh, you know, uh, I, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a matter of choice, right? And I believe in eating freely, that means enjoy your food and you like whatever food you are, no matter at what age, this is my my belief system so in order for you to have that privilege right so you must uh, have the kind of awareness as in a scientific way to understand how your body works so that you can live that kind of lifestyle my tagline is eat freely and stay slim always right so how many people at my age of 51 right i'm born in 1973 that you can enjoy this, this kind of freedom of food choices, I don't think so, right? I don't think so. Besides, I, I don't work out at the gym anymore. No, I don't. Walk, walking is my main exercises. My walking is my main exercise. I, 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 don't, I don't go to the gym and work out as when I, in my younger years. I'm obsessed with working out, but not, no. I have uh, not visited the gym for uh, like maybe easily a decade, uh, 10 years ago. Yeah, so the thing is that um, I don't need to because um, because I learned about insulin resistance and all the related scientific uh, ways to help our body, right? To be able to, to burn fat, right? To be fat adaptive, right? Uh, rather than depending on the, the energy conversion from the blood sugar. Right, 
so that's the thing right so i encourage you to you know at least on your own you make it a, make some effort to do some self-education about that all right you know go into the science of it i believe you definitely definitely will come across intermittent fasting insulin resistant ketogenic lifestyle diet and stuff like that right i am very sure as you grow older, as you age, right, you can definitely stay in a better shape, better body condition, flat tummy, you are a lot healthier, uh, you don't develop chronic diseases. I'm very sure that if you if you if you are willing to invest some time to learn these kind of things, you know, uh, learn the science of uh, weight management rather than the hearsay, you know, right? And long story short, is working from the inside out. It means internally you work on it, it will benefit on the, the outside, the external will also be benefit. You will look good, you have a flat tummy, maybe, you know, plus a little bit of workout. You will have six pack abs for the men and for the woman, you will have a sexy waistline, right? Okay. So now why you are doing all that uh, fundamentally is not just to look good because it improves your performance in a lot of areas in your life and one area of your life is your ability to, to make money, right? Okay, because you have more energy now, you can have more choices more opportunities come to you because you look better, right? Just like that. Mm. This is why before I end my live streaming, right? The key thing about understanding the truly from a scientific point about weight management, met fat metabolism, is because you need to take care you're looking ahead to take care of one very important aspect of your life, which is what? To enhance your ability to make more money. Yeah. With a broken body, like overweight and stuff like that, right? You cannot perform well. And you've got lesser opportunity with someone that looks good. Right? And has and has more energy than you. Right? And this is a fact. Nothing to debate about. Okay? Right? Okay? So, I'll see you in my next live stream. And thank you for stopping by. Really appreciate it. I am very grateful because it helped in growing my channel. And I'll see you soon. Bye!